Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I'm your host, Matthew Horky. Interesting story today. So today was our last day in the Tikvesh Valley. Uh, we went to one of the first wineries in the Balkans. Uh, it was, it, was, it was actually started by King Alexander. He was the king, uh, Serbian king. It was started in 1928. It was a big project. He hired a bunch of French uh, winemakers to come in, make a big winery, just pretty much 200 meters from here. Um, he built a big chate, French-style chateau on it, named the Chateau Villa Maria after his wife. So that was her home. And a lot of things, uh, the winery changed hands during Yugoslavian times, uh, during socialist times. But just recently, I think about the last 20 years, it was privatized. And they've changed their name to Elenov Winery. And they have two labels of lines. And these are the ones we have with us today. Uh, this is the Chateau de Mir Capilla Cabernet Sauvignon from 2004. And this is the Chateau de Mir Capilla Vranets from 2004. Vranets is obviously, we've talked about the local indigenous variety here in Macedonia, or the Balkan area rather, excuse me. This is their premium label of wines. The winery, just like all Macedonian wineries, is huge. Excuse me, they make 7 million liters of wine every year, uh, mostly bulk and basic wine. These are their more two exclusive wines. Now, this is, the, this is the funny story I wanted to tell you. So first of all, we went there, we had lunch, we had a lunch schedule, the tasting. The proprietor, or the employee didn't speak English that well, but he still gave us a great tour. And then he poured the wines. <coughs> Excuse me, now, this Chateau de Mir Capilla, uh, fantastic wine. The retail here is about four, five euro. So we're looking at five, six US dollar. And for the money, un I was completely shocked. And this is why I get excited about traveling around the world and doing uh, to exotic wine places, finding gems like this. Visiting the winery, it's like a mix between traditional and modern technology. They have some modern stuff but they still use really old oak casks, old oak barrels. They don't use brand new things. And this wine has a ton of texture. I think it's awesome value for the money. In fact, on my Vivino account, I think I'm going to rate it about four out of five, which is a very good wine. But that's not the reason I'm doing the episode. The reason is after we did the tasting, we opened three bottles of wine during lunch. When I got the final bill, <clears throat> the bill included all three bottles of wine that we drank. Now, usually when you go to a tasting, you, they open bottles, you sample, you don't pay for the wines, or you pay for a glass, but I wasn't used to paying for all three bottles. And I was a little bit upset. I actually called uh, the winemaker, the main winemaker. She sorted it out. And what it really just taught me is, even though you think that you know things should be, go a certain way, not should, go a certain way normally, communication always needs to be 100%. I, it's my fault that I wasn't clear uh, when I made the appointment, when I emailed. I should have asked him what the price, how the tasting works. I just assumed that it worked a, a certain way that I was used to, and it didn't. So I think communication is, is key. Um, I have to give Elenoff Winery a lot of credit. They fixed it. I didn't, I didn't have to pay for the bottles. They were very apologetic. They were very nice about it. Um, but just when you go out there and, and you do wine tastings, make sure everything's clear. Make sure uh, you understand how the process works, just so you don't get any, any funny business. And especially in a country where uh, maybe you don't speak the same language. So, hey, that's what happens when you travel. We got it all sorted out. We got some decent, some pretty darn good wine at a decent price. And I just wanted to share that story with you. So be on the lookout. Be clear with your communication always. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Exotic Wine Travel, and I'll see you in the next episode.